Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of May 31st to June 6th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM so we can set that up. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries for the period of May 31st to June 6th? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages. Any messages you have for Aries would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Aries, any messages please? May 31st to June 6th, what do you see? What do they need to know? General energies for Aries please for the week of May 31st. We have the sun card in the upright. Click on the link below for your weekly extra which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Challenge edition, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions, I'll be starting my 2022s midsum midsummer. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner Sun sign? We have the King of Cups here in the upright for advice. And how will Aries be moving forward out of this week? Ask me a question on Instinct Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, we end on the Three of Swords in reverse. I mean, the upright. Well, things are great until that card came along. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So it looks like with the Six of Wands and the upright, things are going really well for you. I mean, the Six of Wands for me is being on your high horse. Um, everyone praising you for your accomplishments, how you handled yourself, what you did. Some of you might be getting promoted to a supervisory position, um, you know, promoted to being boss or something like that. Um, and, and people are really congratulating you for what you did and how you went about doing it. So um, you're marching victoriously or trotting victoriously onto your next challenge. Um, now what's interesting here is we have the seven of cups here in the upright in regards to your challenge. And I think it's that you just have so many options available to you, poor you, right? Um, and, and you just don't know which one to pick. So, I mean, not only are you doing great over here and people are like, yay, Aries, Aries is so great. But then now it's like, boom, everyone wants Aries. So, um, you're kind of looking around like, what do I pick? What do I pick? It, it really is difficult for you to figure out what direction you want to go in, who you want to be with, whatever the challenges are. Just be careful because when the seven of cups kind of shows up it says to you make sure you do research make sure you look at, into everything before you kind of jump into it um don't be impulsive or anything like that don't invest in anything um but that's what's kind of going on there now <laughs> i feel like the advice is, is with this king of cups here is saying go the root of this king of cups so um now this this is this can go one of two ways so if you're talking about a suitor or choosing somebody to kind of date go with somebody who's in control of their emotions um you know very um mature um very kind very understanding um or they're telling you to make the decision where this person isn't involved so say that there's a position because the king of cups they're very mature um, I usually think of them as bosses or someone that, you know, is a father and kind of runs a family or what have you. I almost feel as though out of all the options, choose choose the one where this King of Cups is involved. So if you have a boss that's very kind and very understanding and very emotionally in control and stuff like that, um, go that way. Because I feel as though they're saying this person is going to teach you a lot. They're going to be a really good mentor, whether they're a romantic partner or otherwise. Um, and it really is going to be a good experience for you. Um, I, I just keep on getting they're gonna they're gonna you're gonna learn from them um in a lot of ways that that you wouldn't learn ordinarily now emotionally anyways um three of swords in the upright i'm gonna hold off on clarifiers for that i don't want to start spitting out gloom and doom until i see what the clarifier card is so let's concentrate on let's pull the clarifiers um so Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guys, Universe, who are these people? What are these energies? Additional messages for these cards before me for Aries for the week of May 31st. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach the higher ground, become closer to universe, closer to divine? Through these clarifiers, who are these people? What are these energies? Starting with the Six of Wands in the upright. 
Okay, so you came out of an environment that wasn't very pleasant. Um, the Four of Wands to me is that you're moving on from something victoriously, handled it very well. I think you just kind of realized that this previous environment you were in, it wasn't good for you. It was very tense. There wasn't any harmony. Um, it was really icky. You didn't feel welcome there. So you just decided to move out of it and you're moving onward um, from that, like upwards and onwards. And I think people are actually admiring you for doing that, having stepping up and done that. Um, whether it's a work situation or getting out of your relationship or what have you. And I think that move in itself is what makes you so um, so attractive to other people or other employers or, or what have you. Because I think that's where these options are kind of coming up. Why is the Seven of Cups here and it is challenging for you? Okay, so um, lots of options available to you. So now you have the Three of Swords here in regards to how it's ending. Um... So in one of these cups, it, there, there's something that's not really that great. So it, it, one of these paths that you could possibly choose is going to have a lot of heartache in it, loss, um, failure, <laughs> things like that. So that's why they're telling you to be really careful about what you're doing here. Um, might be a lot of things available to you, but there, there might some of the things might be unseen to you and, and are guaranteed to fail. So, um, you know, caution in that regard. Um, the challenge is that you can't see it before it happens. So... <laughs> I think that's that's what they're trying to communicate here. Um, I'm also getting from this King of Cups to being a, a, giving you advice of some sort, a mentor. I'm getting like a mentor. Uh, they're telling you to listen to this person um, in regards to these decisions. Listen to what they have to say. They're really they're really intuitive too. Um, you know, they, they know a direction to go in. So I don't know who that person is, but it seems like they're going to be an integral part in regards to this. Okay, so the Three of Cups in reverse is telling me that this King of Cups, I don't know if he's advising this or um, you should go to this person, but with the Three of Cups in reversed, I feel as though don't land yourself in the same situation that you were back here because the three of cups is when you do not get along with other people there isn't any harmony um the the dynamic is very like difficult um it's not a creative dynamic uh, you you're you know blocked you can't kind of um you know move forward because things aren't kind of working um a lot of times too the three of cups kind of you land yourself in a situation because you're not having the clarity to kind of like you know take a break from something and then return to it with like grounded vision i feel like this king of cups and the upright is being put into your life this week to let you know um which way you should kind of go or advise you before you get landed before you land in a similar situation which i think goes back to these options here but moving forward we have the three of swords why is the three of swords here Okay, so I, I think what happens is you, you end up getting into something and you end up experiencing that um, without having seen it. So I, I don't know if there's going to be betrayal, loss, failure of some um, something in regards to that. But then I see you co closing out of it very quickly. So as you move on from this week, it, it, you get into it, you realize that maybe it was the wrong decision or, you know, you didn't have the foresight or what have you. But then with the world card. You get out of it and you say, well, I don't need to be in this anymore. I need to get the hell out of Dodge. Um, but the world card talks about lessons learned. So whatever this situation is, kind of em embrace all the all the ugly stuff that kind of comes along with it. Um, because it's really going to, it's going to teach you things so, so that you can move on to what you were meant to be in. I almost feel like this is like a, a um, little, little, um, a little step you need to encounter before you get get to the bigger thing that you're supposed to get to so it's very necessary it's a very necessary part of the process so i wouldn't kind of you know beat yourself up if it doesn't if it doesn't go the way that it should because i think there's a bigger plan for you um and this was part of it so i hope that makes sense um if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a dm so we can set that up click on the link below for your weekly extra which will have your love career finances and health oh excuse me a hiccup in my playlist 2021 sun moon predictions 2022 all will be done midsummer what is your ideal career based on your midheaven what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise i'll see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye